Tonight's big story, a new study into the literacy skills of New Zealand children makes for grim reading. Among the findings, one in three 15-year-olds struggles to read and write. And that's just the start. Now, I don't know my ABC. The report's title says it all, really. Its lead author says standards have been sliding for 20 years. One in five students slid all the way to the bottom. That means they are really struggling to read even your most basic texts. So they are, if not illiterate, close to it. She cites systemic problems, including a curriculum that's too vague, teachers who aren't well trained and who place lower expectations on Māori and Pacifica children. There are big problems outside schools too. In 2019, only 57% of students were regularly attending school, and that was before COVID. There are plenty of advancements being made in education. They're often controversial and don't make it into the classroom, according to literacy coach Emma Nana. The research has been on the pages of journals, scientific journals, and not in the hands of teachers. Not in the hands of our teachers and not in the minds of our children. Well, for more on this, I'm joined live now by PPTA President Melanie Weber. Melanie, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Uh, are these findings reflecting what you are seeing in the classroom? They're not a surprise. Um, we've been aware of this data for some time. The um, statistic that you quoted actually comes from a 2020 um, UNICEF report. So that um, kids are struggling with their literacy isn't news to secondary teachers. Um, the good news is, is that a number of the measures that they suggest in that report are actually already in train. We're um, expecting a literacy strategy out from the Ministry of Education end of this month. Um, and we know that... Um, that um, the curriculum is changing and actually NCEA is changing as well. So a number of the points that the report makes have actually already been addressed. Uh, there were a number of points raised. If there was one, the number one thing you'd like to see that could turn this around, what would that be? Oh, it's hard to pick. Um, consistency. We need a whole system approach, and that starts right from um, little kids talking to them, reading to them, making sure that they get into e uh, their early childhood and that then they are being taught through. It's not just students arriving at 15 unable to read. It starts much earlier than that, and it's making sure that we've got a really joined-up system with that. So we're helping to support parents so they can help their kids, and then we're also helping to support teachers, both when they're training but also when they're in schools to have the absolute best resources that they can to be able to help teach children. Well just quickly I mean how did it actually get to this? One of the things the report came came back with with the teachers were lacking in some knowledge there were gaps in their knowledges are they getting enough training? I think there possibly are some concerns in initial teacher education, particularly um, when you start looking in primary where you have one year uh, one year teacher training courses, and you're teaching across eight years of the curriculum, um, I just don't see how that is possible. Okay, thanks so much for your thoughts tonight. You're welcome.